Hello everyone! Happy New Year! For the previous crafts, stories, and memory verse, we have been talking about the love of God to us. That is why He sent Jesus Christ here on earth to take the punishment that we deserve for us to be saved. Today, join me as we will be reminded by our story how Jesus showed His love to everyone while He was still here on earth. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the blood of Jesus protecting us from this virus. Please help us understand our story for today that we may apply on our daily lives as we continually follow and walk with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When Jesus was here on earth, what country was he living in? Yes, Israel. Jesus spent a lot of time walking around Israel. Of course, they did not have public transport or cars in those days, so Jesus had to walk. They also wore different kinds of clothes back then. Everywhere Jesus went, he took a group of men. They were called his 12 disciples and they were very special friends of His. He was training them to work for God because Jesus knew He would not be on the earth for too long. And after He left, He wanted these men to carry on the work of teaching people about God. So Jesus was teaching them all the things that He knew. He would go from town to town with them. One town they often went to was called Capernaum. It was right in the middle of that part of Israel. So they had to go through Capernaum to get to many other places. At one time, they were going to Capernaum. There were two houses in the town where people were very unhappy. In one particular house, there was a lot of unhappiness because the girl who lived there was very sick. In fact, she was so sick that she might die. You can imagine how her mother and father felt. You see, back in those days, they did not have good medicines like we have today. So if people got very sick, they would often die because there were no medicines to make them better. The girl's father was called Jairus, and he was a very important man in the town of Capernaum because he was one of the leaders of the synagogue. The synagogue is a bit like our churches today. The people in Israel would go along to the synagogue once every week, and there they would worship God and learn about Him. Jairus heard that Jesus was coming to Capernaum. His daughter was too sick to take her to Jesus. But maybe Jesus might come to their house. So Jairus went off to find Jesus. When you have a problem, do you go to Jesus and ask for help? Now, in the other house where somebody was unhappy, there was just one woman. She was living on her own because she had a problem in her body. She had been bleeding for 12 years. All the time, the blood just kept on seeping out of her. Back in those days, if somebody was bleeding, they were regarded as unclean because they might pass on a disease to other people. So a person like that would not normally be able to live in the same house as anyone else and they would not be allowed to get really close to another person. This reminds me of the people who get infected with the COVID-19 that we have right now. They are not allowed to get really close to another person. So you can imagine how lonely this poor lady must have felt after 12 years of not being able to be really close to other people. For these 12 years, she spent all the money she had on doctors, 
But unfortunately, the doctors in those days could not help her because they did not have good medicines to work with. So she had wasted all her money and now she was getting desperate. She too heard that Jesus was coming to Capernaum. Perhaps she had heard about Jesus had healed lepers and other people. So perhaps she thought, maybe Jesus could do it for me. I will go and see anyway. So she went off down the road. It was not just the people in those two houses who heard that Jesus was coming. The whole town had heard that Jesus was coming. Wherever Jesus went, huge crowds of people used to gather around. So many people from Capernaum went out to meet Jesus as he was coming into the town. They loved being around Jesus and they loved hearing the things that he taught them about God. Of course, the disciples of Jesus were with him. They went everywhere with him. As they were walking along the road with his crowd of people, Jairus came from his house and caught up with them. When everyone saw Jairus, they knew that he was an important man. So I suppose the crowds parted and they let Jairus get through. He came up to Jesus and even though Jairus was such an important man, he knew that Jesus was even more important to him. So when he came to him, he knelt down in front of Jesus just like a servant would do. Then he began to plead with Jesus and he said, Please, would you come and lay your hands on my daughter so that she might get well? He really believed that Jesus would make her well if only he laid his hands on her. I'm sure some of the people who were standing around there thought, What? Why would Jesus go off to somebody's house to pray for a little girl? He will not do that. They say because you see back in those days children were not thought of as being very important all the grown-ups thought they were the important ones children did not matter to them they were often just shooed off and there are some people today who do not think that children are very important and they are always shooing them off because they do not have time for them well Certainly, in the time of Jesus, people did not think children were very important. I do not think any of these people thought Jesus would go off to the house of Jairus and pray for that little girl. But do you know what? God thinks children are very important, and so did Jesus. And because He thinks you are important, you can always ask help at any time. To the surprise of all these people, Jesus said to Jairus, Yes, Jairus, I will come to your place and I will pray for your daughter. Maybe the people could have accepted it if Jesus was going to pray for a boy. But a girl? No one thought it was worth him going out of his way to pray for a girl. But Jesus was willing to go out of his way to pray for a girl. And Jesus is always willing to help you, whether you're a girl or a boy. Jairus said, Jesus, this is the way. I will take you to my house. So he started to lead him off to his house. Of course, all the crowd followed along too. They wanted to hear what Jesus had to say and maybe they thought they might want to see something special. Now, in the crowd, there was also the sick lady. She had probably seen Jairus go up to Jesus and thought, I cannot do that. Jairus is a very important man. He can go and speak to Jesus, but I cannot. I am just a woman. In those days, a woman would not come up to an important man in public. So she wondered, what am I going to do? She also knew that people knew she was unclean. She was scared, but at the same time, she was desperate. What was she going to do? Then she thought, 
Maybe if I could just touch the clothes of Jesus, that will be enough. I will be healed. If you are ever afraid to ask another person to pray for you if you are sick or upset about something, you can always ask God by yourself. So the woman began to make her way through the crowd. And when she got up close to Jesus, she just reached out and touched the edge of his coat and quickly took her hand back. When she did that, she suddenly felt the bleeding stop. Then her whole body felt different. She thought, it has gone. I am healed. I suppose she thought, wow, that means I'm not unclean anymore. That means I will not have all the shame in my life. And that means I can go into people's houses. It just felt so good inside to know that even touching the coat of Jesus had healed me. Then Jesus stopped and said something very unusual. Jesus asked, Who touched my clothes? Everyone said, No, no, we have not touched you. And Peter, one of the disciples of Jesus said, But people are crowding all around you, Jesus. They are pressing against us all the time. Why are you asking who touched your clothes? You know, it would be like us in a big crowd today with everybody pushing past as you were going down the road. People do not deliberately touch you, but they push against you and touch your clothes as they go past. That is why people were wondering, why is Jesus asking a question like that? And Jesus said, I felt power going from me. Someone has touched me. Jesus actually knew what had happened. Probably, as he looked in the crowd, he noticed the woman and knew who it was. But he did not call her out. He wanted the woman herself to tell what had happened. He wanted the whole crowd to know. I think that woman knew that she had been found out, but she was probably scared of speaking in front of everybody. Although she knew she had been healed, she may have wondered, what will people think? What will they say? But she too came and fell at Jesus' feet. And she told the whole crowd what had happened, why she had touched Jesus' clothes, and how she had been healed. Jesus spoke to her in a very kind way. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Because you believed, you are now healed. Now go in peace and be free from your suffering. She would never have to suffer again. Jesus was showing the people in the crowd that he cared for those who were unhappy and unwell, and that he had time for them. Jesus has time for you too, when you are unhappy or unwell. Just then, someone hurried down the road, pushed their way through the crowd, and came up to Jairus. It was one of the servants from his house and he said to Jairus, Sir, do not bother the master anymore. It's him saying, Jairus, do not bother Jesus anymore. It is too late. Your daughter had just died. Poor Jairus. Imagine his shock when he heard his daughter had died. He probably thought, it is too late. If only Jesus had come straight away when I first told him, he would have been at my house by now, and my daughter would be well. He could have prayed for her and she would have been better. Why did he wait? But Jesus had it planned out. You see, God is never in a hurry, and he knew what he was going to do. Jesus said to Jairus, Do not be afraid. Just believe and she will be healed. Believe that Jesus would heal his daughter even though she had just died? Perhaps Jairus thought, 
What about that lady? She has been sick for 12 years and Jesus has just healed her. I think that thought really encouraged Jairus. If Jesus can do that for that lady, He can do it for my daughter too. And no matter how sick or how unhappy you are, Jesus can also help you. Nothing is impossible for Him. I suppose Jairus said, All right, Jesus, come on, and I will show you where my house is. So they went to his house. When Jesus got there, he discovered that there were a whole lot of people mourning already, wailing and weeping for the dead girl. You see, in those days, when somebody died, people used to come to your house to cry and weep to show that they were standing with you in your sadness. When Jesus saw all these people, he said, Stop all this fuss! The girl is not dead. She is just asleep. You know what? The people, they laughed at Jesus and told him, What are you talking about? Of course, this girl is dead. Everyone could see that she was dead. And true, the girl is dead. Then Jesus sent all the people out of the house. Go away, all of you. As Jesus looked at the girl, she was lying there very pale and still. Then Jesus spoke to her and said, Talita kuwum, which in their language means, Little girl, get up. First of all, the eyes of the girl opened, and then she sat up. Then she got up, and I suppose once she got out of bed, she just ran over to her mother. She probably just wanted a cuddle and to give her mother a big hug. Her parents were absolutely amazed. This was a far greater miracle than they were expecting. If Jesus had arrived when she was sick and healed her, that would have been great, but now, he had even brought her back to life. That was more wonderful still. And then, Jesus, who was very thoughtful, said to the mother, Give your daughter something to eat. Jesus knew she had been sick for a long time and would be very hungry. Jesus was showing that he really cared about her because he always cares about children. Jesus had made an effort to go all the way to their house just to pray for that little girl. Jesus thinks women are important, and He also thinks the children are important. He cares about you, even when other people do not. So today, as we close our eyes, you may like to talk to God in your mind and say, Thank you to Him because he thinks children are important and because he cares about every one of you. If you need him to heal your body or to heal your heart from something that makes you very unhappy, you can ask Jesus today. Let us all pray. Dear God, thank you for this story that reminded us about your love. Thank you because you care for us and love us. We thank you because we are all important to you and you do not choose whom to help. We continually ask that you teach us how to respond as your children according to your will in this time of pandemic. Continue to protect us from this COVID-19 virus. Protect our frontliners from this COVID-19 virus and give them strength as they continue to serve our country. Let the love of Jesus conquer our hearts and overflow towards one another. Heal those who are sick and comfort them. Help us to humble ourselves and trust only you. We love you, God, and this is what we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Stay.